Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Everyday Vlogger. Today's vlog is going to be just a little bit different. I am I just want to show you this video that I thought was very inspiring and I wanted to just share it with all of you guys. And just know that you have to keep an open mind with this. It is a narration by Joe Rogan and it is by the channel I Release Endorphins, which you if you like this video, you can subscribe to them and I'll leave all the links in the description because this channel is awesome. I've subscribed to them already. And uh well, keep an open mind. And I hope that this helps inspire you somehow, some way, uh, to do what you want to do with your life. Because I know I'm going to keep on pursuing my goal with this. Because this is what I want to do with my life. So, that's really all I got to say. Peace out. Subscribe. Like the video. Share it. Comment below on what you think about it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the pre-end of the world. And you guys will be seeing that vlog on the end of the world. Wow. You're, You're a, a fucking, fucking human, human being. being. It's all ridiculous. It's not that, you know, being a Muslim isn't ridiculous, but being a Jew is. Everything's ridiculous. Being a Catholic's ridiculous. Being a Protestant's ridiculous. Being a Baptist is ridiculous. Being a Buddhist is ridiculous. Being in anything is ridiculous. You attach yourself and your mind to any ideology, you're going to be on a road. And that road may or may not lead you in a good direction. But you're going to stay on that fucking road if you're attached to an ideology. And it could be a terrible road. It could be a road of, you know, circumcising your daughter's clitoris because that's a fucking tradition. I mean, these fucking crazy bitches in Africa that cut holes in their lip and stretch them out to put plates on. Why is that? Because they got on a fucking road. They stuck with that road, regardless of rational thinking. They didn't use rational thinking at all. They just adapted a predetermined pattern of behavior that makes life so much more simple. And that's what every fucking religion is. The problem is no one knows. You can not know. You can have your own beautiful personal experiences. You could have been the person that was actually touched by God. And it's not that, you know, yoga is the answer or fucking mushrooms are the answer. There's, there's just questions. The human race is stuck in a giant quagmire when it comes to our behavior and our thinking about our behavior. And until we're honest about that, we're never going to apply. For a lot of people, man. Religion can give you some inspiration, but there comes a certain point in time where you have to pop the train on yourself. And you have to recognize that all this morality that you've developed is good because it's good to treat other people good. It's good to treat other people the way you would like to be treated yourself. It's like a fucking golden rule, and there's a reason for it. And that reason is that we're connected in some strange way that we don't totally understand. And unless you are good to other people around you, unless you're kind and friendly and warm and loving, you're not going to fucking enjoy this life. You're just not. You're going to be problems everywhere you go. You're going to have problems everywhere you go. you got to figure out a way to enjoy this fucking life. It's not because of Jesus. It's not because of Moses. It's not because of anybody that may or may not have ever existed. It's because that's how you fit in better in the world. That's how you stay positive. And it doesn't have to be some shit that was written 5,000 years ago on fucking animal skins. That doesn't have to be the golden rule because it's old. You know, that's dumb. We need to figure out, like, now, today, what, what is, you know, the best way to live your life? What is the, you know, there, there's got to be ways you can be putting forward the most positive energy. I mean, we know objectively what's causing pollution. We know objectively what's causing birth defects and, you know, and are we're taking in too much chemicals and not enough vitamins. We know objectively all this stuff. We know how to organize our world, and yet we don't do it. We know how to organize our health, and yet very few people do it. We know all these things. The right path to like being like a happy, healthy person is to do all the shit that we already know you're supposed to do. Take care of your body, take care of your health, take care of your mind, your stress, meditate, be kind to people. We all know that. When you ask anybody, they know how to get by and to be the most evolved version of you that you can be. Healthy foods in your body, M many, many vegetables, vegetables, a lot of good, good quality protein, a lot of water. Stop the sodas, stop the bullshit, start working out your body and get a better sense of like how this machine feels when it's moving, it's flowing better, there's less tension in it, your mind feels like relaxed and, and you enjoy every single moment of the day better. Step one, everybody knows that step, right? What's step two? Be cool to people. 
be nice to as many people as you can. Smile at as many people as you can. Have them smile back at you. Tip well when you go to restaurants. Just do the most you can. What else? Do what you want to do with your life, right? Don't, don't go be doing something you don't enjoy. Don't do something that's, don't get locked into doing something crazy because you need the money. Don't, don't do that. Do what you want to do. Do what the fuck is it that you really want to do. Because if someone else is doing it, you can do it, you know? I mean, everybody makes their own path through this world, but a lot of people don't follow the path that they really fucking feel pulled to, you know? Because for whatever reason, they got negative programming. You know, when they were kids, someone told them that they could do it or told them to take the shortcut or, or take the, uh, the, the sure route. That's a, a sad thing, man. When you talk to dudes, especially like talented dudes, and they don't follow up with what they want to do, you know? What would be your last words, if this were? What would be my last words? Yes, what would be your last words? Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Merry Christmas.